Hi, this is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to set up the physics thruster and bind it to a key. So I'm going to do it so that it's attached to this lamp and then also the physics radial actor so that if you hit a key, it um, makes what looks like an explosion and it turns on and off a light. So let's quickly jump in and get started and talk about how to set these up. So here's the physics thruster and Here's the icon for the radial force actor. Now, one thing to point out is that it needs to be parented to the physics object. So first of all, you have to have a physics object. So simulate physics has to be turned on. Also, it has to be obviously a movable object. So then you go in, type physics thruster, and then you can left mouse and parent it to the object that you want. So I've got it here. So you want to place it where you want it to effect in the world and then left click and drag and you can attach it to a socket or you can just drop it in and there it goes. Similarly, the radio force actor, I have grouped all of these boxes and turn on physics and then I've applied the radio force to the group actor so that way it's affecting the entire group. Uh, okay, also let's see what else. You, one thing that's kind of important is to turn on the right amount of force strength. So when I was first starting, I was wondering why isn't my physics thruster working? And that's because the both of these radio force and physics um, thruster needs to have a really high thrust strength. So you might want to start out in the hundreds of thousands. So I have 195,000 set on the thruster and I have, what do I have here? Wow. 1.2 million set on the thrust. So let's see, let's hit uh, eight. And that really kicks them into high orbit and um, nine here for the, uh, for the thruster. Okay, let's just quickly, I'll show you how I set up the level, um, in the level blueprint, how I set those up. So um, you can see, I just bound it to a key, the nine key and the eight key. And then I just grabbed the thruster and right clicked, created a reference to it and dragged out and typed toggle, toggle active. And then I just attached it to the nine. Uh, and then in the case of the, so that was in the case of the physics thruster. And then in the case of the radial force actor, I did the same thing, but I also had a point light in there that I toggled the visibility on so that the light came on. You could um, do that with a particle system as well. So you could have like a little explosion that goes off. All right, awesome. That pretty much wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching.